Right, Mr. Palmer here. Um, got four videos here lined up for artificial intelligence. Uh, so this one's the introduction. It's basically by the end of this, you should be able to actually explain what is artificial intelligence and what is intelligence to so put AI into context. And then what are two different approaches to developing AI? There are actually many different approaches, but there are two kind of classical approaches that we learn about in the context of available computing. So first of all, what is intelligence? Okay. So intelligence basically is the ability to work towards a, a goal in some kind of unknown situation. All right. So, uh, for example, if I was driving back somewhere with the passenger and I just randomly dropped them off in the middle of a strange city, they got some money in their pocket, so they don't know where they are, but somehow they will be, they know where they need to go and they need to end up at home and they will figure out some way in that uncertain situation how to get home with whatever money they have. You know, speak to people, find out where the nearest coach station, train station is find the right transport in the correct direction and somehow get home, okay? For example, so in that kind of context, actually, what is artificial intelligence? Because computers pretty much do only what we tell them to do. You write, so you, you, know, you have an algorithm, the computer follows the algorithm, produces some kind of output, okay? Um, take it out of that context, is the computer gonna be able to, you know, fulfill some form of function? So artificial intelligence is a discipline which is basically concerned with designing computer systems have the ability to work towards a goal in an unknown or uncertain situation. So you take that computer system, feed it with some kind of data, and it basically needs to be able to figure out what to do in order to resolve the situation. Okay? AI is not a new thing. It's been around for a long time. For example, um, those uh, electronic chess games. Okay, Lisp is a, was the second high-level language uh, after Fortran, which beat it by around a year. Okay? And Lisp is a very old language that's been used for programming AI many, many years, okay? Since like 1958, I think it is, or something like that, okay? Just prior to the 60s. So, um, basically, why, why is AI taking so long to develop? Okay, basically, computers find things hard. If you think about you yourself as a human, you're able to judge things. For example, boom, someone chucks something at you, you figure out how to catch it, okay? You can balance while walking. You can not only balance while walking on a flat surface, but you can balance while walking upstairs, downstairs, up a slope, down a slope, on a beam, okay, in wet conditions, dry conditions, on snow, on ice, etc. Okay, um, you can decide if you want to wait for the bus or whether it's uh, time for you to start walking because you can look at that queue and you can evaluate is it busy, is it not busy. You've got some kind of background information you know about when, where you need to get to, how long it's going to take, etc. 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 You can make decisions, okay. How can you get a computer to do those kinds of things? Now, there's two main branches, uh, as I said, that we're going to be concerned about. Okay, the first one is knowledge, our knowledge-based systems, and the second branch are neural networks. Okay, where we're talking about machine learning. So, knowledge-based systems basically an attempt to emulate an expert's behavior. Okay, so you have someone captures that knowledge from experts, and then they that's basically encoded into his knowledge-based system, and the knowledge-based system will somehow use that. Uh, encapsulated knowledge to try and figure out how to resolve a problem okay the second type of um, uh, learning uh, the second type of AI we're concerned with the neural networks where the assumption is now that the actual computer is learning from data okay so we're not you know the glass isn't empty and we're just filling it with knowledge in this case the neural network is actually learning itself and trick teaching itself and basically they can apply what they've learned when data is changed all right so basically, now you should know what uh, intelligence is and put artificial intelligence in, into that kind of context. Then you should know what two different approaches to developing AI are. All right. Uh, next video is going to go into knowledge-based systems.